Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time. Pokemon Legends Arceus is officially released, and we are gonna dive right into it. This is uh, this is gonna be part one of you know my initial playthrough of this game. I've heard a lot of good things. I've tried to remain pretty spoiler free in terms of not watching a lot of uh, gameplay and stuff. So let's get into it, boys. It is um, it is midnight EST. Game just came out, and you know we're going hard. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Okay, is, the, is this God talking to me? Hello? <laughs> it is well that thou art here. Okay, Shakespeare on him? I am I am that which humans call... I, it is Arceus talking to me. I Honestly, okay. I've just now started calling it Arceus. I've always been, always, always been an Arceus kind of guy, but... You know, I guess that's kind of the way it goes. Anyway, um, got some... Not a whole lot of... Character customization options. Uh, I'll go with this guy. I don't know about. I don't know about the cut though, G. But that's fine. What is thy name? <laughs> are you even talking like old English? Uh, I'm Hayden. If you guys are familiar with this channel, a lot of you probably are. Welcome back. If you're new here, hello. Hit that subscribe button if you're into this type of content. Um, you know, I'd be coming out with all that Pokemon content. All right, that's me. It's your boy with the this super clean haircut and the profile picture. We love to see it. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. I don't, I don't like you talking like that. I kind of <laughs> a world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. So they just completely got rid of the professor, and now it's just straight up just God talking to you from the start. We looks like I'm about to be born. Am I inside of a, a vagina? <laughs> so you got all the Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Okay, cool. So we just got a little bit of a taste of the god Pokemon talking to us, and now we, we crawl to the light, and we're born. Literally. Am I inside the womb currently? What's going on here? I am. Okay, iPhone floating away. What is going on here? 10 out of 10, not the way I expected this game to start out. What? What is this? Am I like about to time travel or something? Oh, there he is. It's the boy. You're looking different. He's like, what is this technology? <laughs> Turns it into... I know what the arc phone thing looks like. Is he... Is this guy get hit me with a clean upgrade? I'm at the Apple store right now. Nope, we are turning into Arceus. Just kidding. I, I'm so lost. I don't know what's going on. That was... Interesting. I don't know what the significance of the cell phone was or what the hell really <laughs> happened there. Cool loading screen animation there on the bottom though. I like it. I like it. Give me, give me, oh, oh god, okay. Do wake up, won't you? Oh, okay. <gasps> it's the, the boys! It is the absolute squad. Are they talking to me or it's the professor's clearly talking to me, right? I'm like waking up to a rowlet just staring into your soul. Uh, that dude's got weird vibes. Okay, so we're on the beach. Apparently we just washed up on the beach or something. I truly... I have no idea. Ooh, there's even... Uh, so you can see Mount Cornet in the background. There's like some crazy shenanigans going up on top. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Just fell from the sky. Alright. I'm gonna say where am I. Is this this... Is a choice that matters. What's up with the... Fool's rocking the beanie with like the full neck I don't, under his chin. Dear me, did the shock of your fall somehow addle your memory? Got a pretty mean pair of flip-flops. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance acquaintance these parts, would you? I doubt it. I am from the future or something. I'm sad. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer you some direction? Offer some directions? Do you uh, have somewhere around here you could stay? No. Listen, I don't know. No, sirree. I don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Somehow, I guess. And then all of a sudden, it just puts you into Minecraft survival mode. <laughs> start chopping down some trees. Does the starter Pokemon over here looking chill? I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Rowley hits us with the crew. We got a Foom. And last but not least, a Plish Plash. You know, judging off of just those, I, I feel like Oshawa's got the best words to say. I completely forgot, and I just caught up 
to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. All right. Do you even know what a Pokemon is? Obviously. What do you think I am, bro? I have a Quillfish on my, my hoodie. <laughs> That's a relief. Thought you fell from the sky. It seems we have some common ground, eh? Well, these three Pokemon belong to be mysterious creatures that they are. Okay. And yes, what might your name be? So the background, like, the overall graphics don't seem as bad as I had initially kind of thought they were going to be. It doesn't look, it doesn't look polished or, like, really too, I don't know. Yeah, my name is L Leventon, something of a Pokemon professor. That, uh, that is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here, and they just dip out. Just say, <laughs> see ya, we're out of here. Blast, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? What is up with the, the hat, my guy? Terribly sorry, do you think you could help me around them? I beg you. Alright, so our first mission is to go lasso us up some starter Pokemon. I honestly still don't really know who I'm going to choose. Uh, and so, yeah, ooh, okay. So we, we press B and we're sneaking. Sneak mode. Um, we can control the camera with the right stick. That's always nice. Okay. So... What happens if I hit the other button? So it seems like all we can do is kind of hit B to crouch and, or sneak a little bit and then, oh, okay. Run over here and it's my cell phone. It turned into the the arc phone, I guess. So let's take a look at this thing, huh? You just bend down and look at it. Pick it up, man, pick it up. You found something that resembles a phone. I love how it's like this is supposed to be set in like, you know, ancient, but we still have, have cell phones. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. Seems wildly inconvenient to put that in your pocket. A terrible phone case. Message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone in thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Okay. This shit do be kind of looking like N64 type stuff, but I'm, it's Pokemon, so I'm into, into it. Um, we'll continue to run around a little bit. Guy just spawns out of nowhere over there. I keep wanting to, like, hold B to run. That's just the Pokemon instincts within me. Uh, oh, I just... He stopped me. Okay. Alas, yet another miss. This guy's bummed out. Sweet facial hair, though. I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. Tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at that sort of thing, you see? Okay, I'd love to give you, love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you more about uh, this three Pokemon first. Now, that one is Rowlet. It's an interesting choice that they decided to go with. Uh, you know, Rowlet, Oshawott, and Cyndaquil are not really the, the three you pair together, but I like it. Little crew. Honestly, Rowlet is a, a perfectly round Orbis lad. That one over there is Cyndaquil. He's just lighting, a, lighting stuff on fire. He's quite at the risk here. Foom! And Oshawott just running around all goofy. God, Oshawott, quite the, quite the interesting design they got on this fella. He kind of ugly, but in like a cute way, you know? You really forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. We're into it. I like your pinstripe pants, my guy. All right, so here is a Pokeball. It's looking nice and old school, and it's like wooden and like crafted, which is fun. 50 Pokeballs. Damn, we are rich out here. Mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. Balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Yeah, crafting is a big part in this game uh, that they've kind of shown us a little bit of, and that's pretty cool. That won't do for an explanation. Well, I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. Uh, what's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon, and why well, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. Okay, I know you've just met, but I'm afraid no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you can catch my three runaways. The proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon and then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though, far be it from me to say so, I suppose, I've given my own dire lack of skill in this area. <laughs> Alright, so. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button to ready a Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do so. Use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully at the target Pokemon. Okay. I get it. Release the ZR button to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've readied, uh, readied a Pokeball, do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. All right, cool. So we've got Oshawott over here, and uh, do I got to sneak up to him? And then I use... Oh, sh oh shit. I, uh, I used the wrong... Okay, so I just huck a ball right at that guy's face, 
And uh, show us the fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> so we do catch the Oshawa. Wonderful. You've caught a Pokemon. Seems quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business. Yeah, that was pretty difficult, even though I actually did whiff on one ball. Uh, so this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. I was like just playing Pokemon Go on my phone and then I got spawned on this beach, bro. I don't know. I don't know what the hell happened. I kind of just wanted to like explore around. Look at this tree. That's a nice tree. Um, so... We got Syndic Wheel right here. I guess I'll sneak up to the little feller. And ready the Pokeball. And beam him right now. So I assume... Well, I missed him. I fucking missed him. I assume it's going to be more difficult for certain Pokemon that are like moving around and stuff. So that's actually kind of cool. Alright. Can hardly believe it, Hayden. Incredible. You know how many people fear? To each even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Uh, just one more to go. Let's wrap up this Sharpish. Sharp sharpish? Uh, there, there he is. Oh god, he's attacking me. <laughs> he's like, please. Please capture me, sir. What? Okay, you gotta really just laser him right in the head. Sorry about that little guy. Oh, he popped out. I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeball's hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Okay. Uh, and now he just spawns back over to his area over here. We just hawk a ball at him. It's gonna take me a little while to get used to the controls, I think, but... Hopefully this works. I'm sure that they just make it fail that first time, just so that you can, you know, you know the deal. Alright, there you go, buddy. Can I keep all three? Because that'd be tight. Thank you very much indeed. What a relief to have them all back. You see, three Pokemon. You've caught only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Hayden, I was taken aback by how well you used the Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you only just arrived here? I'm a professional. Uh, one can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Um, myself? <laughs> I just... This thing? I don't know. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device, because it could it be guiding you somehow. Mmm. It's God speaking to me. If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon can be found in a region. In order to, f uh, to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. Indeed. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Do they have other kinds of Pokeballs or is it literally just basic Pokeballs? Either, uh, enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Is it supposed to be that I'm from the future? I don't know, your goal is to seek out every Pokemon and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? I do indeed. Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Well, uh, no, you've convinced me, don't worry. That guy looks like he's been getting hella sunburnt out here, by the way. Is Sunscreen invented yet? Because that could be helpful. Alright, so now we basically... Interesting start to a Pokemon game. He's like, this shit just got invented. You gotta really help me out here. Onward to the Jubilife Village. Let's go. So Jubilife is still a thing, even in the early days, apparently. Oh, I'm just staring up. At, uh, ooh, there's a storm brewing up there. Spooky. Something going on with Mount Cornet. And I bet I know who's up to it. Alright, so here is the village looking pretty cool. Got some guards out front. Thank you for your tireless work for keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. <laughs> They're like, no problem. This young man was a great assist assistance to me and my Pokemon. So I hope you forgive me. I give my bringing him to the village for a bit. They're like, hey, what's up with those things on your feet? What do you got going on there, guy? Like, this guy looks weird. <laughs> Got like some modern clothes on. <laughs> All right, so we're taking a step in. I do not look happy about the situation. I'm thinking, what the hell? Who are these people? I need to get back to my friends and family. But I guess I just live in the olden days now. This is chill. Looking pretty, uh, pretty advanced for a nice little village here. Kind of uh, just, just people walking around as people do in villages. This way, if you please. I got you. It's a pretty heavy on the early early game, uh, you know, tutorial type stuff, but can see people talking. New recruit for the survey corps. I really wish I could walk faster. It seems like I'm going painfully slow. Built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet. Not many to do it. What manner of dress is that? <laughs> yeah, people hesitate to set foot. Okay. Now that impressive building up ahead is the Galaxy Hall, headquarters for this entire outfit. If I just stopped walking, what happens? He just goes by himself? 
Okay, nope. Apparently he got there and I just teleport. Botheration, I'm almost forgotten. Need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? This feels like I'm playing like a, a fan-made game. It's weird. Just past this bridge here and then to the left, the wallflower is called. Okay. Oh, now he's running. Oh, I'm ringing. Arceus is calling me. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. <laughs> Clever way of doing that. Okay, use the minus button to view the map on your arc phone. Consult the map for guidance to your next destination and information on your missions and requests. Cool. You'll also see guidance markers where uh, when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions. Try to spot one of these markers. Okay. Seems easy enough. I like it. All right. So we hit minus and we get a nice little... Uh, Nice little map. I actually do like the art style of this. So, in an unfamiliar land. Let's just, uh, ooh, oh, okay, yeah. So, we're running now. Hey, what are you doing? Can I, Waka? Back to my hometown. I've got an older brother who's going to inherit the family farm and all. I'm going to take my own way to, okay, cool. Well, I'm just going to go to the objective because I'm out here grinding. What is this? It looks like a gym, but there's no gyms in this shit, right? Hello? I'm supposed to talk to you, friend. Yeah, is that a green mustache? I don't know. Well, aren't you? Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? <laughs> Wallflowers for galaxy, uh, g galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> I'm so bummed out. But look who it is. To the rescue. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in this flimsy clothes. <laughs> if the guard let you three, you must have ties to somebody in the village. I sure do. I'm a friend now. Perhaps you've met Professor uh, Lamington. He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. Makes me a bit worried for him. Suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had it to take to my bed. But the Professor, well, I do wonder how long they'll last. It's an interesting take thing, and people are like worried about Pokemon killing him. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of, sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! In the nice hat. Everything will be quite all right now. Hayden here has agreed to help us with the Pokedex. You got it. I'm the guy for the job out here. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the survey corpse? Can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain uh, Silene's permission. I'll allow it. <clears throat> she is not impressed. Captain Silene? Assume the individual can contribute to the survey corpse, that is. I'm the captain of the Galaxy Team's survey corpse. You can call me Silene. Okay, it's like Cyrus, but... Female... Professor Leventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. Now it seems like he would li he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. I'm just labor these days. You look 15 or so. Okay, ripe age for the Pokemon grinding. Can't simply... There's just <laughs> child labor out here. Can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Make me do a Pokemon battle or something. Reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. Oh, we eat, and that's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I'm going to appreciate my meals without distraction. Damn. Damn, Silene. Just giving me the cold shoulder. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? You got it. Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi. Mochi, if you please. Potato. Okay. Classic. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Never fails to please. Delicious. Looking like a nice block of nothing. Where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Well, I just washed up on the beach. You know that great hole in the sky, the one people call the space-time rift. Our new friend fell right out of it. <laughs> you can't be serious. There is a lot more... One thing that is noticeable is the uh, the actual expressions on the characters' faces, rather than a, like Sword and Shield, that's just the, the same face everybody does. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with the facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are in the grass, in the forest, by the water, or wherever they like. Our job as the Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sort of wondrous things they can do. You're like afraid of Pokemon? That's where Hayden will come in. 
You can catch them all, 15-year-old kid I met 20 minutes ago. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of feats such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research and... All right. Three? They've had a hard enough time catching even one in the wild. You guys are fucking noobs out here. Well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack, but the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. Uh, and it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Oh, well, I'm fearless, all right. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered 10 whole portions of <laughs> potato mudgy. You know, the, low, the slow progress on the Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start uh, to reign in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. <laughs> now have your fill. All right. And think, if you made it to the Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides all, for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Hell yeah, free food? And I get to catch Pokemon? I'm into it. Sounds like the life for me. Damn. Alright, so now it's nighttime. We've just been chilling, I guess. I do be looking sunburnt out here. It was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely. But more importantly, do you remember that Hayden has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Oh, not to worry. I'm complete conf confidence in his skills. Let's go. Oh, Silene, Hayden, was it? For tonight, at least. He'll provi we'll provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Thank you. Not the most welcoming people, but, you know, they're letting me sleep in their shack, I guess. If you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wild. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just a kid. Come on now. Be nice to me. Uh, Captain Selene's somewhat like Hisui in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night, eh? It's a good thing we can fall out of the futon. We can't fall out of the futons. We sleep in here. Imagine a new friend is hard enough. Had enough falling for one day. All right. Good night. Now maybe I'll be able to run around and, and, and do some more Pokemon stuff. A rift in the sky. People falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Ooh. Like confetti coming out of that. We love to see it. So, I do actually need to move my camera probably to over here in an unfamiliar land. Head to the Survey Corps quarters. Uh, you've been as... Alright, so yeah, we're just supposed to go over there. I'm just going to hightail it over there because I kind of just want to get to what this game has to offer a little bit. So we're going to enter. And am I just going to go to sleep now? Is that... Hello? Okay, interesting little cooking setup in there. So, uh, sleep until morning. They actually do make you go to your futon. Oh, yes. Thank you for the bed on the ground. These people haven't invented, uh, good beds yet, but they got Pokeballs. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information. To read them anytime, press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Okay, so up button is menu. Saving your progress. To save your progress, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll to the ZL, ZR until you reach the save screen. There's also an autosave function. Cool. Okay, more tips. All right, that's it. Okay, now I sleep. Now we take a nice little rest. Honestly, it does look like a pretty comfy setup, so we will rest until morning. And let's go get us a starter Pokemon, boys, shall we? Oh, yes. Beautiful night. Ooh. Hold up. This does... Ooh, some... <laughs> yes. Bidoof and Bibarel, first wild Pokemon they show you. They know what the people want. And this tree gets like struck by lightning or so something? That didn't sound good. The hell was that? Oh, is it going to be the first like boss Pokemon or something the next day? Got quite the story going on here. They're really, really immersing me in the story here. Good morning, Hayden. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Yeah, this shit's scary out here. Today's the day of trial, sir. Let's give it our all. I still don't know if I'm ready to like aim good, but. I mean, wait, wait. Nice fire in the sunken uh, hearth can help keep the entire room heated. Nice. All right. Well, we're going to head out here and see what type of trials these guys got going for us. Hello. I like how it's like kind of in progress, like building back there. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you've had a nice sleep. Even this land is strange and new to you. It is. What are the... You wearing loaves of bread on your shoes? What is that? Let's get to the headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. All right, headquarters. I'm like, just freaking take me there. Ladies just sweep in the grass. Nice. Gotta make sure that grass stays not dusty. All right, so uh, this is where we're heading. Looks like a much nicer building than I got to stay in last night. The frick. Ooh, this is pretty lavish. Look at this. 
kind of looks like the Galactic logo. Survey Corp's offices are here on the first flip. Don't give up. The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far out field. Uh, so, so far afield. But the medical corpse will put you to the right. All right, so Pokemon Center is medical corpse. I the man with a po security corpse and even with his own partner took a beating. Wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Give me a Pokemon then, lady. Come on now. Just stack of paperwork. It's, a freaking perf it's the president over here. You may enter. Thank you, Your Grace. Okay, this is intense. Let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Classic Sinnoh uh, early Pokemon, catching three Pokemon from the start. No one in the Galaxy Team's ever managed that. Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? The trial should be simple enough for him, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. Uh, the Galaxy Team does not have the means to provide those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I, I, I believe. I will lend you one of our Sur Survey Corps satchels to carry wh uh, whatever you may need to the field. That was an Abra back there, too. What? Damn. Dripping in the satchel. Hell yeah. Satchel doesn't exactly, ma exactly match your uh, mode of dress. Yeah, I need a new fit going ASAP. More fitting for the times. So expect you to step in, you know, and if anything goes awry. Uh, can I take that Abra? He'd just be floating and chilling. Alright, so plus button to activate guide. Guiding now active. Alright. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone. You can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types. Uh, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your venture. While requests are optional and given by people you meet. Nice. Pardon, Hayden. Come with me a moment. Can you just let me out? I want to run around and catch stuff, please. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Something the matter, Professor Lamenton? What, what's going on here? In order to complete our Pokedex and well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Hayden absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've just got just the ticket to help accomplish that. You know, I do take back that we're just mashing A out here, by the way. And finally, we get to choose a starter. And honestly, I think I've made my choice. Um, with a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. Cyndaquil will be looking cool. This flames out. And, uh, you know, I think I gotta show love to Cyndaquil, to be honest. That's what we're gonna do. Foom! Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? You better believe it. I love Cyndaquil. Don't remember exactly what... So if you're un unfamiliar, uh, the starter Pokemon all have new forms in this game. I don't remember exactly what Typhlosion looks like, but, you know, we're gonna find out in due time. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at the pre uh, Prelude Beach, for me, will now be yours to keep. Good job. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it, it's yours. Hell yes. Can I nickname it? Is that a thing in this? Do we have that technology? We got ourselves a Cyndaquil, boys. Very cool. Not sure even what the new typing is, is either. Word of advice, my boy, pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Okay, can I have these ones too? I don't want to leave them behind. Look as if they're cheering on their friend Cyndaquil. <laughs> Perhaps they're jealous that he gets to, you know, yeah. Okay, let me out there. Not to worry you two, I'll have you assist me with my research now. They're like, oh, God damn it. Gotta stay with this guy. <laughs> By the way, what species has Captain Silene charged you with uh, catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial. So they gave me 50, but does that stack now? Do I, I think we have 20 now. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work as a, work, uh, work a treat, as you've already seen. They do work a treat, indeed. Have this trial cleared in no time. All right. Leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit the headquarters, then head for the gate. We're heading out of the town, into the wilderness, where freaking anything can happen, boys. I'm talking about danger out here. Uh, so yeah, we'll just head out this way. So what happens if I hit the this, and then I hit Y? Shows me that stuff. But for the most part, we know we know where we're... What our task is here. I wonder what happens if you fail all 50 Pokeballs in the beginning when they give you 50 to catch those things. Also, how the hell is she already out here? What the f... You teleporting? What a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. You long-lost cousin of Cynthia? What is this? 
Now you're Volo of the Gin Ginkgo Guild. Go to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. Okay, I've heard, heard, heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. You, and you have a Pokemon, certainly full of in interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is a key to any good merchant success. What do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up in an... Okay, we're just going to get a nice little battle going. All right. Let's do it. What Pokemon you got? I remember to guess it's probably just going to be a Bidoof. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. They'll help you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. All right. I truly wonder if this game is Nuzlockable. I mean, it probably is, but... All right, so, Volo over here. Oh, it's a Togepi. <laughs> Adorable. One thing is, I do really enjoy how battle scenes in this take place just where you're at, rather than like bringing you into like a battle environment, like a specific battle environment. Oh, shit, you're running at me. Okay, quick attack. You can do it, Cyndaquil. Oh, yeah. This is actually, this is, this is really cool. I like this. And you can even, you can look around. I can even run around during the battle. I can tell him what to do from over here. Quick attack him from over, over here, buddy. Oh yeah, look at that damage. What happens if I get in between them? Oh shit! <laughs> I'm hit. <laughs> Probably should not have gotten in the way of that uh, that Togepi there. Okay, so we do take it out. Togepi defeated. Thank you for sending out your baby Pokemon. Battle decided. I also do like the art style of like the interface and all that kind of stuff. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will uh, will open up to you. Interesting. So I heard the uh, like EXP gain. Cool. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? As they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves of your Pokemon you can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the change moves option. How do I get to the satchel? So few people here have their own, uh, their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. All you do is throw them. At any rate, let me help uh, our two battlers recover from their little exercise. So he, they heal us up. Thank you. I got, I got to get back to my task. I got like my freaking thing to... To do. I gotta prove some shit to some people. We get five potions as well. Topical medicine meant to be applied to Pokemon can be used to restore 60 HP to a single Pokemon. So I know we can craft those as well. Hoping that you're successful in that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers from yours, for yours truly, after all. Nice. Well, that was a good way to introduce us to, to battles by just absolutely beating the shit out of that dude's Togepi. Thank you. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. You coming with me? She looks so happy. When you're leaving Jib Life Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell Rest the Guardsman where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Okay, I like it. I, interesting. Trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Alright, so I gotta tell him where I'm going. You know where I'm going. You heard the conversation. Trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care. Alright. Um, so, cool. I do need to move camera just a little bit below... So we're in Jubilife Village, we're going to Obsidian Fieldlands. Yes, that's where I'm headed. Does it teleport me there, or do I literally just run there? Does that just bring me there? I think it just brings me here. It does. Okay, well, we got a nice little camp set up here. Wonderful. I was kind of hoping I was going to be able to run there, but... This is our base camp, last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and a Shinx. Easy to remember. You ready to get started? Hell yeah, I am. Something wrong? Oh, the freaking guy's ready to talk to me some more. Please let me off on my own. Captain Sunling, you gotta hold me after you left. You impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. Uh, that's unspiring, hey, Captain, but what, uh, what help exactly can you offer out here? Man, to be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Hayden's talents are the real deal. It passed with flying colors, you see. So the responsibility in him still lies, in fact, with me, then. <laughs> Can't get over her shoes. Well, I'm sure Hayden will be fine. Let's begin the trial. Let's do it. Trial time, 35 minutes in, all right. And we run over here and instantly have to fucking press A through some text, please. Ooh, this is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Oh yeah, look at this game. Actually pretty beautiful, graphics could be better, no doubt about it, but little Beedoof running around, time to get ready to catch. All right, let's go catch this Beedoof. Uh, and see if I freaking remember how to do so. He's like, please, just come catch me. I'm not going to give you much trouble. Key is to aim carefully, not that you seem to need my advice, just sharing what I know. Listen, I threw three Pokeballs earlier. Hold down ZL button to focus on wild Pokemon, keeping me your sights as long as it's nearby. 
Yada, yada, yada. Uh, has mellow disposition. Means it tends to not run from people, so this would be easy. It's actually cool. So, yeah, each, each specific Pokemon, I assume Shinx will be a little more, uh, you know, rambunctious to, to catch. But, so now she's over there. And now I just huck a ball at your face. And that should likely catch this Bidoof. I don't assume this will be too difficult. All right. We've done it. Does this add this to my party? Do I get to keep this guy? Caught a Bidoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. All right, she's gonna bring me right to this Darlie. I'm sure she is, yeah. All right, so yeah, over here, she, I see that there's Shinx over there, okay. What are you doing, lady? Let me off on my own, please. I beg of you. There's a little Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. <laughs> you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. It'll be harder to spot. Okay, hiding some grass a little bit. Press the B button to crouch or make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep into tall grass while crouched low, you'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. Alright, so Starly will be a little harder to catch here. I imagine it shouldn't be too difficult to... Where, where did he go? Oh, he's right there. Okay, so yeah, we, we crouch. I wonder how far away I can throw these joints. Maybe I got... Do you think I got to aim, like, higher? Oh, yeah. Just dead connection. Get absolutely... Captured, Starly. Easy. There's Starly's caught as well. That Starly caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. The OP, everyone's favorite, the Shinx. Which we saw him bouncing around over here a minute ago. Um, we gotta go over here and talk to you though, because. Oh, there's also berries in that tree. Forgot there's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Tellin tells us, have an item ready, but want to send out a Pokemon, press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready but want to throw item? Press X. Okay. Interesting. Try throwing your Pokemon ball at rocks or trees like this one. Okay. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. All right, partner. Let's do it. Catching a Shinx. So I hit X, which basically now readies my Pokeball. Oh, I actually, I just, you know, okay. Well. Hey, good job, buddy. What a good what a good boy. I just got three orange berries. That's nice. Okay. So that was pretty cool. So I assume, yeah, I guess I can I can just now, since I have my Pokeball ready, I could like huck this dude out wherever. And now he's just he's how you doing, buddy? Put your flames out, man. Sure you know where you're going? Okay, I know. I'm just trying to explore a little bit. You you're just walking me through everything. There. That's Shinx. Oh yeah. Listen to that absolute roar. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? More or less. I'm familiar with Shinx, yes. Thought you might. Can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. Uh, when you use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. So we got the different color options there. The more arrows you see pointing up above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. Okay. An X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it's picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Interesting. I like the sneak tactics. Okay, so you got the battle. You got to battle them once they're absorbed. The battle, battling, you can throw a Pokemon at them and try to catch them. So I wonder if it's going to make me catch or battle against this guy. Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. Okay, let's do it. Got no doubt you'll hold your own in the battles. Yeah, we actually have to battle the Shanks. Easy to start a battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your Pokemon at it. If you see that the Pokemon uh, that you currently have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon, press the X button. It will allow you to toggle between your thrown items and your Pokemon team. I'm sure I can actually also throw orange berries at them, right? Can't they like feed them like freaking Pokemon Snap? Um, okay, so just basically throw my Pokeball right at him, and oh, he's pissed off. He said, "I don't like that shit." No, siree. So we can get into a we got into a battle here now. Um, interesting. This brings up my uh, my party here, so you can see when I'm not blocking it. You know we've got we've got the lads. I actually can even check the summary of Cyndaquil. We are you know one foot eight. And is there not like natures and stuff in this? Quick attack and ember. Oh, we do. Okay, so we're. We're plus attack, physical attack, not ideal. We're adamant. Oh man, this thing's lonely, and this thing's adamant. So adamant Starly's pretty damn good. Anyway, enough of that. Let's um, 
Bidoof is in front, which I didn't honestly really realize. But Rollout will be looking kind of cool, so that's fun. And maybe I shouldn't have used Rollout? What happens if this thing just dies? I'm just going to try to throw a Pokeball at this thing right now. Why not? Let's go over to items. Um, oh wait. Yeah, if you, if you do that, then I can toggle over by uh, this, which now brings me to my items. So we have some Pokeballs, we got the potions, and spoiled Apricorn. What? They've already spoiled? Two of them are spoiled? What the hell? Alright, let's just throw a Pokeball at this thing. I truly don't know what's going to happen, but I just kind of want to throw one. Also, don't. I wonder what would happen if I killed this thing, too. Alright, well, we catch it. Shinx is ours. Amazing. I really wonder how po shiny Pokemon work in this as well. That's going to be interesting. You approach those Pokemon without a hint of fear. Caught each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. Pog. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corpse has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm still curious why on earth he came falling from the sky like he did. But for now, let's tell the Professor we're ready to head back. Alright, so I'm assuming, you know... I passed with freaking flying colors, and they're going to be like, damn, bro, you go out there and catch them all and f fill out our Pokedex for us, please. Oh, I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors. Seems you went and just did, did just that, indeed. Congratulations, Hayden. You're taking first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. So you, everybody starts with the same three other Pokemon on their team, which is kind of funny. They have cameras also as well, apparently. Now then, we best report to Captain Sightline. Time to head back to Jubilife, huh? Let's do it. Head on back to Juba Life and go rub it in Silene's face that I am an absolute beast at catching Pokemon. So it's actually kind of cool. I guess you can get an opportunity to catch the Pokemon without battling it, but then if it like, gets angry at you or spots you or whatever, then you have to battle it like the old school times. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon. You've got to live in the village pastures. No, There's no PC in this. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory, though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. I'm already freaking almost there. I have four. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. No dilly-dally in here. Don't worry. I bet Captain Tallinn will be very pleased. Very interesting. This is... It, I'm liking it so far. I'm thinking that this is actually... It seems pretty cool. I, I like the... The whole idea of this game is actually pretty sweet. I was kind of skeptical on how it was gonna, how it was gonna really kind of play out, but I'm into it. I'm into it. Hello, here are your three Pokemon you requested. Seems you won't have to leave you to die after all. <laughs> You're not very nice. Congratulations, you passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. Fuck yeah, free satchel. All right, we have impressed you. Set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you've cleared it. You're damn right, I did. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. All right. It hands me absolutely nothing. You received a Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. They say, no more with your fit. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. All right. Um, so I got to go back to like my my quarters to, to change, I guess. And then we come back and... Uh, all right, we'll head over, head back over this way. This is this is where I'm staying. This lady's still just making sure that grass is spotless. Doing the Lord's work out here, lady. You keep at it. All right, so we change the mirror, change fit. Some lovely stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. Wait, what? Huh? Do you want to change your outfit? Yes, I have to. So yeah, time to put your Survey Corps uniform and your Survey Corps sandals. All right. Um. Not available. So we do have Survey Corps uniform here. Oh yeah, swagging out in this thing. Also, how did I turn? Okay, there. <laughs> Actually, it does look kind of cool. And here's our uh, Survey Corps sandals. So I hate them. Can I not wear those? Because that'd be ideal. We will change into this fit if that's what they want. What is up with that? I got bread on my feet. Talking about bread feet out here. A couple of loafs just ready to go and take on the world. Wonder how the lumbar support is on these Johns. Probably not ideal. But look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. Almost as if the captain tailored just for you. 
I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if you can hear my cat in the background, but he really goes crazy at nighttime. I don't know what the fuck his deal is. Sorry. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, we get the classic Sinnoh hat, too. Swag. All right. Now present yourself to the commander. I shall do so. So, oh, Commander, I'm ready to show you this fit wherever you are. I have no idea. This looks like a little medical place. Attacked by a Pokemon, you can always go to a base camp to rest. Cool. Okay, well, this isn't where I'm supposed to really be, but... Hello? Where do I go? I go down the stairs? Wait. The thing's right there. I'm supposed to go up, I think. That makes sense. They're really just... They hold your hand until they're like, okay, now now fucking just fig figure out where you need to be. <laughs> I guess I continue going up. Man, this is quite the quite the building for some old timers. What is up? Oh, this guy looks intimidating. This guy's gonna beat the shit out of me. Hello? What is up, my dude? I've been waiting for you. Oh, have ya? I am Commando, Commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. All right. Hmm. So you are Hayden. I I am indeed. Yes, sir. Hmm. Briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the roof in the sky. I really wish they would just fucking let me play the game. If I'm gonna be honest. Wait. Face me in combat. Try to throw him. Charged him. Okay. Hold on. Things just got a little more interesting. <laughs> What the hell was that? He beat me up, didn't he? Need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. <laughs> didn't know I was a sumo wrestler, okay. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone, naturally. So we'll be slow to trust an outsider. Who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put up to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. That's literally what I've been trying to do for the past 20 minutes. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Thank you. I shall. All right, mission complete. Am I done with the? Am I done with the, all this? All this now? I think I am. Now I'm good to go. Let me out there. Let me at him. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Well, damn. Perform well as a member of the Serbia Corps, and you will, remove, you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. Working on the Pokedex will, will also, of course, bring you closer toward that goal of yours, to seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. And we got a recipe for crafting Pokeballs. Very cool. <laughs> Uh, so one apricorn and one tumblestone. That's all you need to make a pokeball, apparently. I don't know what a tumblestone is. Three thousand dollars as well. You have to buy the necessary materials. All right, sick, sick. Did you not just give me the necessary materials? What? Oh no, never mind. That was the recipe. I'm just kidding. You're an expert at crafting yourself. Uh, teach a new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Silene. Now, as the experienced craft person here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. Indeed. You can make the most valuable most valuable tools. Pokeballs. That's where I think we... Yeah, all right. Head to the craft work. So we're going to see... We will see how exactly you make a Pokeball now. That's cool. And let's go to the crafting area. Craft works. Learn how to craft items. Can I craft other things other than Pokeballs? I assume we can make potions and stuff, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Well done earning a place in our team. My name's Anth, I'm the local clo clothier. Professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go, I hope they fit. I just got these clothes. Received an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. All right, sick. Hope you'll aw avail yourself of the village's humble shops. Thank you, lady. Just been getting a lot of free shit out here lately. It's pretty sweet. This way the craft works, Aiden. I'm coming. I'm coming. What is up, craft guy? Show me how to Minecraft. You can use the workbench here at the craft work anytime you need to make an item in the village. Okay. And it's a little... 
which is literally a little uh, little crafting bench. Supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Hell yeah. Go up to the workbench. Choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. You can use the workbenches in the Jubilife Village and the base uh, camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. Cool. Interesting to see how in-depth this is going to be. All right. So going to disappear here for a moment as we want to craft this um, and since we have the recipe and I guess we have three evercoins and three tumble stones like how many pokeball oh wait necessary materials that's just going up so I have apparently 21 apricorns or is that what's in the bag and then 20 of the other ones so I can make like 20 of each or I mean we put 20 of each together and then we make 20 I mean you know all right, that was some real tough crafting there. So I guess crafting is basically just like if you have the necessary items, then all you have to do is just go to a workbench and then you basically have the items, which is honestly nice because for how many Pokeballs I assume I'm gonna go through, it would be annoying if I had to like actually go through and like build them like freaking Minecraft with the red, like knowing the recipe, you know? So we get a Pokedex. A volume uh, for compiling the collected results of much of much Pokemon research. Professor Lamington continually adds adds to it with each report made on new Pokemon species. All right, very cool. So here's the here's the known Pokemon we've seen so far. And uh, what am I what am I doing here? Okay, you can just look at, oh, interesting. So this gives you actually quite a bit of data on, on each thing. It even shows you Times you've seen it use quick attack? Very weird. Hmm. Okay, well that's kind of cool. Anyway, interesting. I prepared this volume just for you. Hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. So I'm assuming there's probably going to be challenges like see a Charmander use Ember five times or, you know. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. Same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon Research as a Survey Corps member. Uh, I'll be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come with me to the Fieldlands camp whenever you're ready. Okay. Dun, 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 getting to work on research tasks. So I'll just activate the guide. Guiding now active. Might as well. And this will, assuming, just take me on the map to where I need to go. Or we just we just walk there. Excuse me, couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? This guy, is this the guy that asked about the Shanks? Hold on, standing guard, so I can't leave my post. I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. People have something to ask you. We'll have a request icon displayed above them. If you fill the request, you may receive a nice reward. Should I do it? I feel like I should probably do it. Screw it, he's right here. Might as well. We'll see what he at least has to offer. I guess we don't have to really do it right away. Uh, there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Yes. <laughs> Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Lamington, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. So there's a phenomenon called evolution. Yep, changes their appearance and stats. If one Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you may select the evolve option. Ooh, you may s able to select the evolve option. So it doesn't just happen. So I decided to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, can you let me have it? Reward for you, promise? Get me a Wurmple if you can. So I assume they probably just kind of give you items. Uh, he'll be like, here's 20 potions for doing that or something. I don't know. But that's cool. So I guess if we uh, catch a Wurmple, you know, that's gotta, this guy's got something for me too. Listen, I, I got too many things to do here. I got to get back to the main task at hand. Uh, heading outside the village, are we? Stay, stay, stay safe out there. All right, so... Um, now if I hit Y on this thing, this shows me a little, a uh, little bit of a, get to work on research tasks. Um, head to the Obsidian Fieldlands and speak to the professor. Okay. Obsidian Fieldlands. Which is just, you know, there. So, <laughs> that's where we're gonna head and see what up with our research tasks. The loading screen's kind of cool, it shows you the world a little bit, but to be honest, I wish it would make you run places. Rather than just like teleport to him. I don't know if this is how it's going to be for the whole game or whatever, but. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, they're great. 
many research tasks that I need your help to carry out, my boy. Details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference anytime. Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number of vari uh, variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokedex, then check what kinds of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. Cool. And I just hit B, it didn't take me to the next page. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Hey, Zuki, my freaking cat, Zuki, stop it. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Cool. One last piece of advice, if you see wild Pokemon attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. So yeah, we do take damage from when Pokemon attack you, which is hilarious. I love it. Here, watch closely and remember what I do so you can do it later. Do we get to like dive out of the way? Oh yeah, sick fucking dive. That was pretty steezy, not gonna lie. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. It sure is. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out the way the wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. Very nice. Security corps had, me, had to collect me when I got the business end of some Shinx Thundershock. <laughs> Don't you worry, I've got lots of experience to draw on and I'll teach you plenty. Thank you very much, my lady. So she ran away, and uh, am I on my own now? I can apparently. Okay, so now we gotta we gotta just follow. Still, this does look pretty. This looks pretty nice, though. If I take my ugly face out of the way, this looks pretty damn sweet. I'm not even gonna lie. The colors the colors are interesting. It's an all around, you know. Hey, I remember seeing this from the trailers. This exact section of the game. I like it. Let me share some Survey Corp's wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with a ZL button and press down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. Okay, so... You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with how many Bidoof you've caught. That's right, catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, and then end more and more. Oh, okay. Just gotta catch a ton of the same Pokemon. When it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's wisdoms. Uh, if you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go. Okay, so... It was X to do it. So you have a, a Pokemon ready, and then if I just huck it out, then now I'm battling this Bidoof. Should I just kill it and see what happens? My own Bidoof just roll out. I, I need to switch my lead here. I just, I don't know how Bidoof ended up in front, to be honest. I'm, we're just rolling out on each other. I really thought that I had uh, fixated on using Rollout. Okay, let's get some, some solid increased damage. We should be able to take this thing out. Level 2 Bidoof, quite the threat, you know. But, I believe that my Bidoof can handle it. It is a shame that there's no online competitive, or like, Wi-Fi battling in this game, but it kind of makes sense. It's more about, like, tasks, tasks and things like that. So I got some grit dust from that. You get items from defeating Pokemon, so... What, um... I guess, what happens if I have items out in front and then I press this? Oh, damn it, I just wasted some shit. Can I pick that thing up? Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna run past these Bidoof. I get, what, what did she say to, to do on the... Press that. And then... Oh, you're running away. Hey, wait, come back. Check Pokedex with going down. So now this shows me exactly my research tasks on the specific Pokemon. Um, number of heavy specimens you've caught. Interesting. So the next, like, tier of research task or for number caught would be three. So I guess I actually just need to catch three of these little fellas. Um, and so, I wonder if... So currently I just have Pokeball out. Can I just literally yeet a ball at your buck tooth there, buddy? Oh, I fucking went through. I went way too high. You just gotta throw it right at him. I was I was trying to, you know. We'll see if that works. Alright, caught me that one. And then I probably shouldn't have killed that first one. I kinda just wanted to see what happens when you kill one, but now now I'm short on I'm short on doofs here. I'm sure there will be more. It's fine. I, I kind of assumed there would be more Pokemon running around. It's kinda rare. What is up? I only got one more. I've disappointed you and brought shame to the entire family. I think you've got a bit of a reminder. Don't forget to open your Pokedex when focus on a Pokemon to check your research task for it. Just yell then down. Try checking tasks for Starly next. Okay. So yeah, there's the Starly right there. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching them while hiding in some tall grass. I'm just going to do that. Then I need to check the task and she just told me what it was. So I'll wait for you to go up ahead. Uh, come catch up once you finish some tasks. Pog. Finally. On our own. So there's the Starly over there. There's a couple of them. I'm going to chill into the grass. 
don't think he sees me. You don't see me. There's no way. I'm catching your ass, bro. Oh, he hopped out. Oh, jeez. He's probably like, what the fuck was that? I'm catching you this time, though, Brody. You're done for. Oh, the other side ran away. Alright, so I catch that one. Nice. Shinx gets the level up, plus a new move. Uh, also, that is something... Whoa! Okay, that was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. Um, this guy totally just, you know, is staring straight at me, but... Oh! Okay, he's pissed off. I can't catch him now. Oh, God. So, Bidoof, now we gotta fight this thing, although... I'm going into Shinx. And... So I caught one without it noticing me. Can I just catch this one now normally? It's too stunned to move. What? I'm just gonna thunder shock it, which probably gonna okay knocks it to red. Nice. Too stunned to move. Hilarious. All right. Well now we'll switch over this way. We'll go over here. We are going to select Pokeball. Use that. And uh, see if a lot. This allows. We should catch this thing. There's no way. I do like the Pokeball animation as well. Yeah! Doesn't do the, the normal amount of shaking as it usually does, but alright. And uh, Starly has been caught, so I'm just out here catching hella Starlies. How did I... Okay, so I can... How do I even switch my... I go up, and this allows me to, I guess, switch my team members. But... Organize Satchel. With the, so I can change... I'm gonna like sort the items. Why to grab? Like move some stuff places. Um, okay, let's put. See, Cyndaquil's in front, so I don't know what the hell Bidoof was. Nice. So you can change the names of these things. I'm gonna hold off on. I'm gonna hold off on names. Um, for now, but I don't know why. Like, why is Bidoof showing? Oh, there we go. Now this thing will be in front. Okay, interesting. Oh shit, bro. I'm just gonna huck a ball at this guy. He don't see me. He does not. This guy, unsuspecting Starly, gets absolutely captured. Oh, never mind. He certainly saw me. And now, guess what, buddy? You're getting freaking killed. Is this? Should I still catch this thing? Oh, I burnt it. Okay. I love how you can't see Cyndaquil at all. He's just lighting the damn grass on fire. Let's actually just kill it. Let's get a little bit of experience for the lads, you know. Because I feel like pretty soon here we're going to come across something that's going to be, you know, powerful and stuff. But So we get some nice levels. And um, we're just going to run back over this way. Why not? See if we find anything interesting on the way. But, oh, what the hell's that? Oh, that's just a... Uh, that's, that's a medicinal leak. Oh, yeah. Nice. Looks like there's some purple on that thing. It's just the shadows looking weird, I guess. Uh, so here's some water. Also, we got another we got another tree with so if I just throw a pokeball pokeball at this thing, they will hit the tree, take us and grab us a berry, which is nice. This beauty has no idea I'm looking at him. I don't think. I mean, I guess he's staring right at me. He probably knows. Yeah, he was he was staring right at me. I'm not very good at sneaking. But what I will do is just kill you too, because I want to get some levels just to I'm sure, ensure that I'm like, you know, kind of comfortable. Also, apparently wild Pokemon don't always attack you. He's just looking around. What are you doing that for, buddy? He's like, this is, it's, what, I'm just chilling over here by the river, having a nice time. This guy comes up and just burns the shit out of me. So we take an orange berry and a grit dust from him. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, is there any water Pokemon in this that I can see? Like, water, I guess, does look a little bit better than I had imagined. Or expected. Uh, I assume this is an item that I can take over here. What is this? Nope, that's just a gemstone just in the, in that freaking thing. That's kind of cool. <gasps> There's a buizel. My god, lads. I'm just crouching. I don't know. Oh, he sees me. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. I'm going to throw my Pokeball near it. I probably shouldn't have done that. I have Cyndaquil in front. It's a bit, overall, it's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out for him. Oh, it automatically quick attacks me too before I got to do anything. Oh, Jesus. Uh, guess what, buddy? Going into Shinx on you. I want this Buizel. All my homies love Buizel. The grass texture is the only thing that kind of bums me out. It just looks so flat. All right, well, let's Thundershock it once. It's level three Buizel. It's also nice that I can go a little closer. Doesn't quite knock it out, but I also get the para as well, which is perfect. So cool that I can, like, change the angle of, like, this battle. Like, look at this. This is so cool. Alright, well. 
Let's uh, throw a Pokeball, shall we? Throw a Medicinal Leak at it, get this guy a little high. It's kind of nice it doesn't make you aim the Pokeball when you're doing it in battle. Obviously. But we shall be catching you, little weasel. Alright! Amazing! We've done it. This is actually very satisfying. I can see myself... <gasps> There's the Wurmple. I need to catch the Wurmple for that dude. There's a couple Wurms. A couple Wurmply boys. Okay, so I'm going to try to catch this guy without battling him. He doesn't see me at the moment. Now, let's see what happens if I go like that. What? Oh, it's because I had my Pokemon out front. I wasn't going with balls. I'm going to run away and see what happens. Maybe he... Okay, so if I... Now I have Pokeball out. And so, that was probably what I needed to do. Oh, he totally sees me. You son of a bitch. You can cancel it, just B, though. Maybe I guess it's when they when they see is when they have like the dot dot dots going or something. Get too close and he disappears. Interesting. Like what happens if I just throw a ball at you? Like can you are you Does that work? Yep, he's mad. He's he's angry. He's pissed off. He's slugging away. Alright, well let's just do Whoa. Oh, he just disappeared. Man, what happens when you find a shiny Pokemon and it literally just bounces away? That seems like a bummer. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to the issue at hand. That was that was a fail. Hello? I'm still figuring it out, alright? I'm figuring it out. Around here you can find Pokemon called Weasel. It's got an aggressive disposition. I already caught one. Dude, freaking I'm way ahead of you. Two steps ahead of you. It means to try to hit you with mo with its moves, just like Shinx, you need to battle it to catch it. Okay, so you need to battle it to catch it. You can't sneak up on it. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by wild Pokemon. If you take further damage and the edge of the screen have turned red, you become overwhelmed and black out. Alright, so let's go dodge some attacks on this guy. Precise, you have to see it use the move and use the move in battle. That's right. Some ta tasks require battling. Very cool. Now go on ahead, take care of some Buizel research tasks, then come talk to me. All right. So what we're gonna do for Buizel is he's not there anymore. Oh, he's, he's right there. Um. So I guess I just. Oops. God damn it! I didn't mean to do that. What? Can I pick that up? Because he's going to, like, attack me, isn't he? Oh, God! I've been quick attacked. Yeah! Dodging this guy. I kind of want to just get used to dodging, so you can kind of see when he's winding up to attack. Yeah! This is actually pretty cool. I like this a lot. Oops. I can't just throw a Pokeball at him. But now... I just gotta basically... Throw out my dead Bidoof, but he ran away. What the hell are you doing? I can talk to you. Hello? I need, to bat I need to battle this guy. No time for talking, I guess. Hit me, bro. Hit me. Come at me. Okay, so now we're in battle. But I have b from in front, which is fine. This thing is not really fine. I'm dead, and Quick Attack kills it. With a crit! You son of a bitch. Maybe I needed to see it use Quick Attack, though, so that might be good for my research task. Uh, again, we're going to just go into Shinx. So I already have one of these captured. Let's see, what was the research task that I needed to do for you? I don't know if I can even check it now that I'm like, already in battle. But, hmm. Kind of cool, you press Y and it shows your team over there. Well, let's go ahead and Thundershock you. Did I complete a research task? What do I need to... He's looking around. What are the damn tasks that I needed for this guy? No information available. Um, what about you? Hmm. Just tells you what type it is and stuff. Well, I'm just going to kill this one. I'm sure there's buizels all over these, these these parts. Seems like a nice little riverbank buizel home. And he uh, drops his medicinal leak, leak, so that's cool. I wonder if I just go into Pokedex now and check a look at buizel just to see. 
So number of specimen, large specimens you caught zero. So I've caught one, number defeated one, and the times you've seen it use aqua jet. So I guess I need to see it use aqua jet and the number of different forms you've obtained. Hold up. Is there different forms for this guy? There's different weasel forms. Wait. Wait a second. Where's the rest of these weasels? Um, I need to... So X, this brings me back to Pokeballs. Now this, I can um, put Cyndaquil in front or you know, Starly. So I have that in front now. So now whenever I... What the hell is that? Oh, there he is. Is that a Buizel? Literally can't tell. That's a big doof. <laughs> he was in the grass. I don't know. I'm just going to run. Nice to be able to just run away. It's probably pretty cool. So grabbing these medicinal leaks, I'm sure it's really easy to turn those into potions. So that's really nice. Any more Buizels around the around here or what? Seeing a bunch of like the freaking... Oh, there's another one. I wonder how far away I can be to huck these Pokeball at them. Alright, so now we're in battle. Okay. So I need to see it use Aqua Jet. Straight too far away from battle. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm back in. I'm back in. It's fine. So... I need to see it attack me. So what I'll do is... I don't know. I hope it uses Aqua Jet or something? I'll freaking jet me, bro. No, no, no. I need you to attack me. Please. I'm gonna end up killing you, aren't I? Why are you just looking around? I truly need to catch you, but... Uh, I guess that's okay, too. Uh, <laughs> Alright, well... Let's just throw a Pokeball at you. I might as well catch it. I mean, one of the some of the missions are to catch a bunch of them, so... I'll catch you. I wonder also, is while you see certain challenges that are like, catch a large one, and I wonder if you notice their, like, size. I assume you probably do. Um, okay, we've kind of opened up another thing to go do, apparently. I really wish I could pick these things up, or, I mean, they're pretty large. Probably not going to fit in my satchel, but, hey, is that something in the water right here? That's freaking be doof Doof, what are you doing in the water, man? I thought you were a fish. Freaking doofus. Might see another, might see a wormple over here on the way. So I will, um, press X to set up Pokeball. I think we can just catch a wormple. The old-fashioned way. I don't I just throw a ball at him. I don't know. I don't know if this guy's too far away, but yep, I'm just out here wasting balls. I'm having a hard time with Wurmple, man. What the fuck, Wurmp? God damn it! Whatever. Tell me what I need to do, lass. Tell me what I need to do. You're doing quite well for yourself. I'm kind of trying to figure it out. Your little reward, reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. All right. I obtained a crafting kit. Contain everything you might need for crafting, even when there's no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. So you can select the crafting kit from the key items pocket in your satchel to craft uh, items wherever and whenever you like. However, unlike a workbench, you'll only be able to use the materials in your satchel. You won't be able to craft more items than your satchel can hold. Interesting. Here's a recipe for potions, too. All right. We can make potions. Sweet. Orange berry and a medicinal leak. The crafting kit. You can craft items anywhere using any materials you have in your satchel. As long as you've got an apricorn and a tumblestone, you can make a Pokeball anytime. Pog, with an orange berry and a medicinal leak, you can make a potion, so do heal your Pokemon. Nice. What about revives? How do I revive? Cover of your Pokedex will tell you if there are tasks you finish, you can report. Nice. Tasks with unreported data. 19. Okay, so it's bringing up all the stuff that I need to do on each different thing. And I don't want to look... At, it's fine. I know I have things to do, lady. Page report back to the professor. Let me tell you once you've got some research. Task good and done. Alright. So, I'm going to open up my satchel here real quick. And take a look at key items. Oops. Key items. So this opens up my crafting kit. Now with this, let's do some crafting just to see what this is all about. Um, so I can make a potion. Or a few of them at least. I'll just do four. How about that? I made four potions. Now I kind of want to see what it's like to use. So I have nine potions. Um, I'll use one on Syndicwill. And there you go. There's the general mechanics of the crafting and all that biz. That's kind of cool. Now let's switch back over to X. Let's throw our 
yep, oops. Let's throw Starly at this tree. Grab some more orange berries. So I can grab myself some more shit. Nice. And so now we're kind of just open in the world. I know I can go that way. But we've got some uh some stuff to check out for sure. I want to see if there's any other any other Pokemon or stuff. <gasps> Ponytas! Hello, little Ponytas. Can I sneak up on y'all? Or are you gonna be Mm, I feel like you're you definitely just gonna be you're gonna make this hard on me, aren't you? Oop, hit the branch. Hello? I wonder if crouching like I need to be in grass for it to Okay, I threw the Pokeball at this guy. Now I got it. Alright. Give me a Rostberry. Interesting, it heals burns. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at this one too. Oh, that was a fucking Rostberry. But 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 why? I had Pokeball selected, didn't I? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's switch to Pokemon here. Let's throw out Starly. Let's get a little battle going, shall we? All right, this Ponyta is pissed off. It's level five, keeping its guard up. Starly's like, you sent me out into the water and it ra it ran away. Wait, but why? <laughs> What the hell, man? I don't run very fast in the water, as one would assume. I'll grab some free berries from this tree. Why not? Starly, go ahead and grab me them. Thank you, sir. Some cherry berries. Nice. So just some more ponytails, and I really wonder if finding shiny Pokemon... Sorry, I didn't have my camera up. Um, ...are basically just over there. Like, you can see them in the overworld, and oh my god, there's an Eevee, guys. Oh my god. My god, there's an Eevee. Um, shit! I always hit the wrong thing. Oh, he's coming over to eat the berry that I threw in the grass. Times you've given it food. So he eats the berries. So berries are good distractions, and I catch the Eevee. My dude. We've done it. Let's take a look at the satchel here. How do I... How do I change... Oh, I want to go grab other Pokemon. So they probably go to the pasture thing, and I'll probably need to go and grab all the other Pokemon that don't currently fit in my stuff, you know when I head back to the professor, but for now I'm just gonna kinda check out what's what's going on here. If I go to the Pokedex, let's take a look at Eevee and see what the tasks are for this thing. His number caught, number you've caught without being spotted, I caught one, times you've seen it use quick attack, times you've given it food, number of different forms you've obtained, uh, number you've evolved, investigated more about how Eevee evolves, method unknown. So there's some I could see how this could be quite a grindy game, but that actually makes it rather interesting. And also, I'm sure along the way you find shiny Pokemon in your quests and and all that. So, I think what I'm going to do now is start making my way back toward where we need to go. If I find anything out of the ordinary on the way, we'll, uh, you know, let's check, take a look. But no, no water Pokemon. Really, it seems. I have my Pokeballs right on standby, fucking ready to go. If you need to hack around and break some ankles, I do that right quick. Boom, bitch. I'm over here, and I'm over here. Ain't nobody attacking me. Hey, I still don't have, uh, I still don't have Wurmple yet now, do I? I should, should try to, okay, so wait, check this out. What happens if now I were to throw a spoiled apricorn at it, or just an orange berry? So I'll throw an orange berry over here. Watch this shit. Now, switch back to Pokeball. I know you want to eat that berry, my guy. He do. He do want to eat that berry. He says, fucking scrumptious. And while he's eating it, I'm able to throw a ball at you. Which is great, and I do catch it, so that's pretty nice. Alright, grab a grab a Wurmple on our way. I'm, see, I'm starting to get it now. I'm definitely... I'm getting the hang of more kind of the way you're supposed to be playing this. I'll grab an orange berry on the way. And, um, I kind of wish the Pokemon were following you, but not really too big of an issue. The gimmick's played out. But, it is a beautiful day out here. I am just straight out in Legend of Zelda, but it's Pokemon. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. So we got to go all the way back. They do make you run your ass all the way back there, and I assume we, we really might as well just grab, grab a barrier two from this here tree. Thank you, while I'm on my way. Seems relatively easy to grind, like, items from trees and stuff. Oh, we gotta do some crazy climbing over here. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm struggling. Oh, we're good. <laughs> Grab that there medicinal leak. 
And we are back to the camp. I've caught a bunch of Pokemon. Gotten better at all the stuff I need to do. What is happening, guy? Can I have my Eevee, please? That was the best one. If it isn't a crafting kit, must have listened attentively to Akari's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. Thank you, thank you. Seems to be a good time to explain to you about survey reports after the reward rewards they offer. Okay. When you submit survey reports, you receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You receive more money if you filled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. So I probably should have stayed out there and maybe fulfilled more of those Pokedex things, but I kind of wanted to just see what happens next on that note. And on that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed thus far. I got a pretty good amount of them done, not gonna lie. Look at all them mons. Caught 11 po total Pokemon, 10 or more Pokemon in one report. Different species, 7. Caught Pokemon for the first time, 7. Pokemon caught using a back strike, 2. Alright, we get 2,147 Poke Dollars. We ballin' out of control now. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. By carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, you re you'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise a Pokemon's entry to level 10, that entry will be considered a complete, and you will have unlocked all of the detailed information to be had about that species. Now, this is a cooler take on Pokedexes, right? Because back in the day, it's like you catch one, and then now the Pokedex enters complete. But for this, it does actually make a lot more sense that you have to kind of study the Pokemon and get certain things done uh, to kind of really know everything there is to know. But... As you carry out tasks and complete Pokedex entries for different species, you'll also gain Pokemon research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition team. Very cool. Uh, and so, preferred foods, interesting. So yeah, this is like Pokedex entries now in color. This kind of tells you all about their preferred foods, so I assume like Helps out for catching them or something. Insufficient data on this, but as we fill them out more, you get more, you get more data. Oops. Like how do I? Okay, whatever. I hit B too many times. Interesting. Very interesting. Made good progress on these research tasks, Hayden. I do believe you're ready to move up in the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to the captain, Silene. It's time you earned yourself a star. Yes, I'm a good noodle. Give me a good noodle star. Amazing. I'm actually enjoying this game a lot. All right. So, we're just going to run over there. Hey, this is the dude. Is it? Wait. No, he's going to give me a new task. I have a Wurmple for one of the fellas. Hello? I, I can't. Oh, that's the dude that's talking about Shinx from, like, the preview. Or the, the trailers they've shown. Anyway, I'm just going to go over to the main building. Basically, just flex on Silene here. What's up with these things on the ground right here? Can I have these? Nope, there's nothing. Person's got to do some sweeping over there. All right. <clears throat> Back to the big boss's building. Hello, my friend. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me a Pokedex. I shall. Take a look at that. How do you like them apples? So as you'll notice, I completed two or th three of them there. Times you've given it food one. Or this is a research task for Eevee specifically I'm just looking at. I don't know why it, may it brings this up every time for... Emotions or cries. Form one or two? What was the other form? That was just male or female. Oh. I was hoping it was going to be a whole new weasel. <laughs> anyway. Let's see how this goes. You made progress. Seems you have earned yourself a star. <laughs> Hell yeah. About to flex that star. With this, you've officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. We are in the ranks now, boys. Damn, there's a lot of stars to get, though. A lot of stars to get, not a lot of time. Just kidding, we got nothing but time. You can now use Heavy Balls. Pokemon up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. Rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. All right. Here have these as well. There are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Nice, right, so I can craft some other stuff. Obtained a recipe for crafting Heavy Balls. Interesting. Heavy balls is kind of a weird one. Recipe for crafting heavy balls from scratch. Required materials, one apricorn and one black tumblestone. Uh, it revives. Nice. One vivid choke and two medicinal leaks. Revives are hard to come by out here. It's a strange like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Thank you very much. I'm, I really tried my best out there. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged by face value alone. Proving your worth by moving up through the ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help uh, if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. 
Very cool. This doesn't feel like a Pokemon experience. It's like, it's very much different and it's in a good way. I, I really like it. For today at least, you've earned yourself a, uh, a meal at the Wallflower and that's and a good night's rest. Day one complete, lads. We really just went out there and we just showed them who's boss. So we got a nice little nice little meal. So Hayden, my boy. Believe a jolly good congratulation is in order. Well done on earning your first star's rank. Potato mochi sounds or tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. <laughs> Uh, still, we're very busy from now on between our survey core duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on that request from Beauregard? Beauregard? People of Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problems arise, the survey corps gets called to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk to them. Other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard if I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, we weren't, uh, weren't you approached with a request recently. I was. Oh wait, no. I, I thought I was... Never mind. Told to require a bit of skill with battling. She's like, I don't battle too good. Ah, uh, yes, the request came from Maya of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. Pokemon of the Diamond Clan, the people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hizui since before the Galaxy team arrived. We can establish good relations. I'm sure there's much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. We can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. Wonderful first day. They're nicer to me now now that they know I'm, you know, a freaking Pokemaster. So we eaten, are we resting now? The next day. It is the next day. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. All right, sure. Thank you, I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you've got a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pasture to change up your team. Yes, I do certainly need to do that. Where's the pasture at? Because I want to grab my Eevee and stuff. I got some fun things going on in there. I need, I need to, I need, I need to change up. Uh, can I look at like the map? See like where the so the training grounds, but like oh, is this Galaxy Hall? But where freaking hairdresser and shit? New request over there. Front gate. Pastures. Ah uh, yes, that's where I want to go. Is it out? Is that outside of the thing? I don't even know. Yeah, I'm going the right way. See, so yeah, it's just out and to the right, unless it's no, it's just right here. <laughs> I know how to use a map. Hello, what's happening over here at Patch's house? Uh, the many Pokemon you catch, collect them from here to change up your party. Have some Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? I do. Uh, I want to bring Eevee and put you instead of Starly number two. And how about a fire type? For the boys, instead of Bidoof. I think that looks like a pretty solid team for now. Unless I maybe go Wurmple instead of that level six Bidoof. No, this is fine. Let's take a look at this Eevee though. It is, uh... Let's check your summary. So one thing to note is I've heard that there is not Effort values or individual values in this game. I think it's something different. It's like a it's a whole new mechanic that I'll have to learn a little bit more about. Got a plus special defense nature. Real cool. Careful. All right. Well, my little 15 pound baby, you are coming with me. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are going to conclude episode one with that. I feel like we got to, you know, a pretty good stopping point. Some pretty good progress was made, and uh, I'm enjoying the game a lot. I've, I've actually I'm thinking that this is. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. I will be streaming this game over on my Twitch account. If you've made it this far into the video, first of all, I appreciate you. Leave a comment if you did. Let me know kind of what your thoughts are on this game. If you've picked it up yourself, if you're kind of waiting to see how it is or whatever. Um, personally, I think it's going to be, I think it's pretty cool. It's going to be, you know, a, a, a nice change that Pokemon's been missing for a while. But anyway, guys, follow my Twitch channel. I will be live on this uh, quite a bit, especially... Uh, this first couple weeks of this game being out. So if you want to hang out with me live and, and you can play along with me or, you know, hang out and chat, I will appreciate that. Anyways, guys, I will see you next time. Peace out.